Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and we're back for some more. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, whoa, that's a bunch of uh, side quests popping up right now. In the last episode, it's been a while, but we completed this uh, place right here. I believe we did, actually. Did we? I mean, it's still like orange just on the top, so let's go and see if it is. I doubt that it is. But anyways, in this episode, we're going to be, well, continuing our path all the way to the uh, Kokiri uh, village. Alright, so I don't think we did this then. Yep, okay. I was right. <laughs> kind of why we did that. Yeah, we got a bunch of side quests because we have the DLC. Uh, let's see here. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, I guess we're going to have to make a jump here. Yeah, this is a great practice uh, thing for your uh, glider. Because it does help you get used to it quite a bit. Uh, is there anything back here? Or is it, did the wind just like giving us a path back? Yes, it is. So yeah, it's basically like sort of a test for our uh, equipment and whatnot. Well, more so our glider. But nonetheless, it's still uh, basically giving us like a sort of, oh no, we went a little too far. Um, for a second I thought we did. Okay. Nope. So fun fact, I actually found out that the voice actor for the Blink of Breath of the Wild, this is like his first role ever, which is pretty crazy considering uh, voice acting in general. Like maybe they would have thought that, oh no, uh, thought someone more uh, experienced would have taken that job for Link. Alright, uh, let's heal up. Yeah, I don't know why we're not able to grab that. I'm not sure if I'm not getting enough, uh... Oh, okay, I think I may know why. Hold on. Try this. think I may know why we're not getting much. So what we're going to do is actually use the momentum from the wind boost here. Really? I guess not. The game really doesn't want me to reach there. It probably takes like some really uh, tight movement then. I legitimately thought that's how it was going to go. Uh, we're low on health. Let's just grab this. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves another uh, spirit orb. So far, we're doing pretty well. Now it's, uh, we can actually start heading back to our uh, to our path through our main quest. Right. Oh, and we're fully healed too because of that. Nice. They're celebrating over there. Oh, and there's also a nice little fire there just in case we want to cook. It's a new weapon. It's a throwing spear. Oh. Holy shit, we just destroyed them all. I 
There we go. Let's see what this is. Uh, you have plenty of Boko Cop. There we go. Uh, Boko Bow. Got that horn. All right. Boko Bow. Ah, we don't really need that. Plus, they're already getting damaged by the fire. Now, uh, as you can see, there's many of these uh, lying around, those little things, and uh, they could actually move around if we happen to be near one. Uh, what was this again? A, a soldier's I was about to say shoulder for a second. Uh, uh, let me drop one. Drop the Boko. We got a soldier's bow, which does a lot more. Uh, anything else? Not really. Oh, there's a new enemy. Over there. Definitely do not want to be dealing with that, especially with the health and uh, equipment we have at the moment. It's torch here, boko spear. Is there a chick? Oh, I thought that was a piece of meat. I guess we could uh, cook for now. Oh. Yeah, so I uh, hope you all were very patient. Uh, I finished school finally. Uh, was able to uh, do whatever I could. To finally uh, pass, and I did. And I uh, just need to fill out some stuff for uh, later on. And I should be ready. Alright, we've got a few things. Uh, should be good enough for us, and... We could actually uh, kill one of these uh, flamingos, actually. These birds. And we could get some raw bird drumsticks. Alright, let's cross this bridge. And yes, there's a person there. So this is our first time seeing anyone that's alive. Let's go and see them. The end is here. His name is Berg Brigo. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, that just says, let's just say that is better than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry. Who are you? Have we met? Well, doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of taking to talking to myself, so you're, you've come to a good time. I had a good time. By the by, the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about those mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. Not only that, but then these long-deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here. With all this craziness happened, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. If it suddenly starts moving, you know. Yeah, good idea. Oh, yeah, the Guardians. It's a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot beams at you. You know, it's prepared for the worst, but I somehow managed to escape to the nearby woods. Do you think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? Huh, I truly wish I got... I just got lucky. Anyways, I hear guardians are just like to that like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Don't be. Hey, don't be rash. I'm young, but you're even younger. I'm trying my best out here, but I get to feel like you're you're going to end up trying to even. Oh my god. That's the feeling I get, but that I look at your face with maybe I'm nuts. You're fine. You're just being. Don't just don't be so careless. You're. There are too many enjoyable things in this world to gamble with your life. I doubt that that guardian is is alive. If it is, then oh well. Uh, I don't think I should be in here. Could potentially drown, actually. Still want to see the oh, got an enemy here. 
two of them actually. These are uh, Octoroks. Got an Octobloon, so yeah, you get the remains and oh, a Hyrule Bass and Octorok Tentacle. Huh. Let's uh, swim back. Oh, we got a bunch of choo choos here, too. Uh, not that. All right, there we go. Let's worry there for a second. All right, let's get that over there. There we go. All right, let's see what's in here. We got ourselves an Amber Nice. I doubt this one's alive. Hot Dark Eyeball. Yeah, this one isn't alive. Or else it would have easily have been aiming at us. <laughs> Anyways. Should be heading along right now. There's another tower over there, so we can make that a, a little safe spot. So, it's another bird. Mmm, yummy flesh. I know it sounds creepy what I'm saying right now, but eh. Trying to get as much food to survive. Oh, is there anything over there? I don't see any bokoblins or anything. Those look like frogs. I think actually, yeah, they are frogs. Yeah, we got a hot toad footed uh, frog. Oh, never mind. They just didn't spawn. I only saw the me, and I was like, wait, there's just there's just like an abandoned little thing over there. Let's just be heading that way. But we do have something over here. Is there any sort of thing I have to do? I don't get... <laughs> There's a thing here, but I don't know why it's not popping out. Got an iron shroom. It's pretty decent. Oh, shit. Yeah, they basically disguise as a bunch of things, uh, the Octoroks. I wonder why this one's not coming out, though. Maybe you have to do something specific. Anyways. Let's be heading our way. Still got plenty of ways to go before uh, we make it to our destination. Huh, we're coming up on this hill. Here and oh, I for a second I thought we lost it for a second. The uh, the tower. So I guess we should be heading there first. Especially since like we could just make a quick turn if anything to go to Kakarika Village. Let's see if there's anything in the surrounding area. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, there is a boat down here actually. Ah, interesting. I've never seen uh, this location that much, but it's pretty weird that there's just a random boat. Let's check out this treasure chest. You got a Karak leaf, and actually, uh, this is, I think that's probably what we need to use that uh, thing on. The Karak leaf on the... Uh, The little pinwheel that the Karak has. Alright.
Holy shit. This one doesn't know what happened. Wow, we're just one-shotting these guys now. Is that all of them? Probably was. Unless there was like another one nearby that's guarding as well. How come that hasn't blown up yet? There we go. Oh my god. Got a few big apples too. While we're at it. Okay then. So let's head back because I don't trust myself when it comes to getting there. Link, oh my god. Like oh he also does like a perfect dive in. Probably an easier way to get that get there honestly, but from what it seems like, not really. Alright, there we go. The dueling peaks tower. Alright, uh, let's head up here. Alright, definitely making the right path here. We could basically be teleporting no matter what, so if we ever need to come back here, it's the perfect thing to do, honestly. Come on. There we go. Opening up here. Yes, there is. Just a tiny bit more. There we go. Ugh. It gets really stressful uh, bringing that stuff around. Sheikah Tower activated, and there we go. We got ourselves another Sheikah Tower activated. Uh, there's still plenty more to go, but this will help us uh, uncover... Uh, the area around here so uh, we could actually properly have a map and uh, where we're going to honestly really hope Breath of the Wild 2 uh, expands quite a bit on this uh, on Hyrule here especially with what they're showing us there we go another section is open to us So yeah, now we have a, a pathway to, uh, oh, we got also got the Sheikah Center, so basically this tells us that there's a nearby shrine, so there's that, and uh, now we can clearly see the pathway to, uh, to Kakariko Village. Alright, and now it's activating, so now we can basically see if we're nearby one. It's already giving us some sort of alert. Yeah, it could be soaring uh, around for like a while. Uh, doesn't seem like any of the book columns are here actually. Let's 
telling us there's a shrine nearby, but... Oh, yeah, there is, right there. Yeah, it's doing its job pretty well. Already. So, uh, yeah, if we ever need to find a nearby shrine to collect more spirit orbs and to uh, increase our hearts or stamina meter, well, this is the perfect thing. It's actually really, uh... Actually really helps, uh, show how much there is around the area. Like, you know, if there's any hidden ones, because... Trust me, there are quite a few that are either hard to get or, uh, just really difficult in general. And we got some enemies here, uh, these guys are annoying, honestly. Ooh, hold on, we got some minerals here. Uh, okay, can I not climb on this? Alright, we got some amber. There it is! The Ridahe Shrine. So, got another one here. I think we'll probably end off after doing this one. So yeah, the more Spirit Orbs you collect, uh, it actually will help you 100% the game. Uh, not 100%, well, obviously 100%, but also help you get the true ending for the game. Because the more hearts and uh, stamina you have, the more likely you're going to be able to do some things here. Uh, all right so there's a little puzzle link there so yeah might not some of your some of these uh shrines might involve using your uh your uh shrine your sheikah slate some of them might actually just require just puzzles Go. Oh, well, that failed. Nice. Uh, not sure how that, I think we might have to place something on there, actually. Yeah, one of these, uh, barrels. Yeah, they're made out of iron. Oh, okay, I see what to do now. Hold on. Yeah, I saw. I was like, "Huh, I wonder how we get up there." And now, now it makes a bunch of sense. Let's see if it could reach all the way there. Yes, it can. Oh my god, that scared me. All right, let's see what's inside. Climber's bandana. So that's an equip. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, well, at least we still got the bandana. Reminds me of uh, Dixon from, from the Xenoblade, how it looks on me. The, the red coloring. Anyways, let's get this last orb and we'll be on our way. So yes, uh, I really am sorry for the long break. I do have quite a few videos that are coming. Uh, potentially, hopefully they weren't lost, but uh, I have two videos of me unboxing uh, Fire Emblem Cypher cards, and I do have uh, a Pokemon one as well. So finally, it's been a while since we opened up a Pokemon one. So I hope you guys enjoyed them.
I think they might not even be working. I'm just like check. I like literally just checked my phone, and they were like, "Oh, still downloading from your iCloud." I'm like, "No, there's nothing on my iCloud." So I'm very unsure. I think I wasn't supposed to delete the original videos. Maybe that's why. Uh, before we end off, let's actually just. No. Break this down, because obviously if you see you cracks, you blow it up. And we have a traveler's bow. Fortunately, throw something away. Probably the Boko bow here. Anyways, all my videos I like well, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you all for watching this episode of Breath of the Wild, and we will see you guys then. Peace.